What's up guys? Long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. If I sound sick, it's because I am. I have literally been a miserable little bitch for the last like month and a half, so I apologize in advance if I sound super nasally. But since all of the individual concept photos have been released for the Luna comeback, I'm going to be reacting to the Lukes today. So let's just jump right into it. Let's go. First, obviously, is Hasua. Hallelujah, she is back, people. I'm so excited. She looks healthy. She looks happy. She looks amazing. She is serving looks. That's what she's doing. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the dress. Obviously, I have no sense of style whatsoever, so don't listen to anything I say. It's just my opinion, but the dress I don't really like it, but I like it on her. Um, and also this like belt thing is kind of cool. Excuse me, ma'am, this is not heaven, so you need to stop being an angel, please. Um, I love the earring. Not something I would ever wear because it looks like it literally weighs 20 pounds. Love it, 10 out of 10, beautiful. And then the final look for Hasul. She literally looks like a gladiator to me. I love how her hair is more of a natural tone this comeback. And it's long and healthy and just beautiful and I love it. Glad to have you back, girl. Okay, next is Yojin. Now, I love this look, very grown up for her. Um, the boots, slay. Um, I love the strapless look on her, and honestly, like her short hair is growing on me. At first I was like, no, so sad, but it's growing on me. It, she looks really good, she looks really mature. And another angelic look, which really makes me feel like the, you know, gods and goddess theory is kind of what they're going towards. Um, it's just very like heavenly like she just looks gorgeous and this one like I don't know are they on the moon are they on like a fucking volcano or some shit like I don't know but also I don't I don't really know about okay so this third concept is really weird to me some of the outfits were really good and then other ones I was like did they just piece together outfits they thought looked good and they were like well we want to use both but we could only use one so let's just like glue them together that's the kind of vibe i got not a big fan but she looks beautiful oh my god this next girl holy moly it's like we been knew she's beautiful but like she really brought out the modeling skills for this like black literally looks good on anyone but she just looks so good also i don't know what the fuck this flamingo is back here it probably doesn't mean anything at all but Okay, go off. Um, another beautiful one. Her hair kind of looks blue here, though. Which is very misleading and confusing. And this last photo. Oh my god. <laughs> like, hello? Like, I didn't know I wanted to die today, but thank you. Like, this is one of my favorite pictures of her of all time. Girl, stop looking at me like that. But you look so good. Love the bracelet. Love the just everything. Next is Chu. I actually really like this outfit. I don't know why, but that dress looks really cool. But it also kind of reminds me of like a soccer net at the same time. <laughs> like no hate. <laughs> I do like the outfit. I don't know like what the kiss marks could potentially mean. I kind of had like, if I'm going off of my theory, like she could kind of represent Cupid. Next, love this photo. Love the glimmer of light like off of the outfit. I think that was a really nice touch. Um, the gold, obviously, she looks beautiful. Also, very minimal makeup. They never really do like crazy makeup looks, which I think is nice because it really just showcases their like natural pure beauty. <laughs> Another like meh outfit. Not really that impressed, but she's always serving looks. You know, our it girl. We love her. Next is my bias. Let's go, girl. Um, the outfit. I'm not loving it. I feel like if it was a different pattern, I would like it more. There's another piece of tacky 70s furniture. I didn't mention this earlier, but the, you know, the representative colors in the background, I think that was a nice touch to kind of just like bring OT12 back together and like what Luna was kind of started on. And she looks beautiful, always. This outfit, 10 out of 10, chef's kiss, so good. Also, I'm noticing the glimmer of light is always off of the gold in these pictures. They have the Midas touch, like everything they touch is gold. We know that's right. And then this last picture, I love this. I actually like this outfit, but I just, something about the clashing of patterns just does not do it for me. Also, the fishnet glove could go. This first image, I really, really like. Something about the reflection on the table, I feel like it's supposed to symbolize something, but 
my brain's too small for that right now. This is probably my least favorite outfit of the second concept, but obviously she is serving and love this, love this, like a stunner. Love the choker, it's really unique and just like a statement piece. I sound like a fashionista, listen to me. Love, love that she's serving looks. Love the outfit, the pink eyebrows. I don't know what that was all about. I still don't know if she's gonna be blonde forever. I can't tell if like the pink eyebrows was a hint at her dyeing her hair pink as well. I don't know. She kind of looks like Hyanna here. Don't fight me on that, please. Don't be mad, but that's just when I first saw this picture, that's what I thought of. Love this. I'm glad they got rid of the pink eyebrows for this. She's beautiful. I love how it's just like a close-up of the face. I would love to see what the full outfit looks like, but that's okay. And then this last one. Oh my god, girl. Like, please. Like, if you're on the moon, I know where the light from the moon comes from. It's from you, girl. Like, she looks like a model here. Not a big fan of this outfit. Love the earrings. It reminds me of, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, um, the poles for curtains. And... Obviously, with the first teaser image, it was a black curtain, so she could have a big part in this comeback. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass right now. But she looks good here. I just don't like the outfit. Love the gold in the hair. Like, like, like look at her. Like, this, she's so heavenly and angelic and just, oh my god. This is probably one of my favorites of the individual concept photos so far. The outfit, love it, but don't like the pattern. But that's okay, I'm just not a big plaid fan. Love it. Love how they're all just sitting on rocks. Oh, also I saw an interesting theory that, like, Choeri and Hyunjin's first concept photos were, like, opposite of each other. Like, Hyunjin is laying the other way, and Choeri's laying this way. Obviously, in the So What music video, they are together, dressed as twins, and them together in the Lunaverse as a pair. It just kind of made sense that this obviously is sticking with that theory. I kind of love the whole power suit thing. Normally I wouldn't like something like this, but she is making it work. And like the purple and yellow go so good together. Um, I think the stylist did really well this time around. She can keep her job. Okay, second concept, love this. I don't know what the point of the orange strand of hair was, but I think it would have been okay without it. Another of the we glued two outfits together photo <laughs> and also opposite of Hyunjin in the third concept photo as well. So really neat, just kind of to think about. Next we have Miss Jin Soul. She kind of has the same eye makeup that Go On had on. I don't know if that means anything, but I kind of love this hairstyle on her. It's kind of like a mullet almost. Um, I mean, it's not, but it kind of looks like it. It's like a, a fake mullet, a fullet. She looks like she's my boss and she's about to yell at me. And I love that. But when I first thought, saw this, I thought she was wearing like a basketball jersey. I love how you can see her blue hair a little better here. Obviously, skin flawless, makeup flawless, looks so good. Okay, next. Um, this last one, she looks like a Jedi to me. From the hair to the outfit. If she busted out a lightsaber from behind her leg, I would not be surprised. Eve, now this outfit, I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Love this photo. Very ethereal, very angelic, like I've been saying for most of these concept photos. This photo, the smoke. She's the only one that's gotten the smoke, so I don't know what that means. Another, like, switching, matching of the patterns, but I feel like hers isn't as bad because it's just, like, a solid black. Um, but I love this photo. I don't know... Maybe she's like the, the con she's the one that conquers conquers it all. Like look at her standing up there looking victorious, but also looking tired at the same time. Like she's a little slunched over. So I don't know. I don't know. But last but not least, we have our wolf girl, Haiju. Now this statue looks like something you would see in like ancient Egyptian times. So I don't know. We're all over the place with these. I just am so obsessed with this concept. This second concept is my favorite, so I can't wait to see what the group photo looks like because these outfits are just everything. This outfit is awful. I said it. That's it. We're ending on that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Which outfit was your favorite? Which concept is your favorite? And if you agreed with any of my unpopular opinions. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Peace.